of asshole for getting my mother a more expensive gift than my wife, I-30 male have a pretty big family and we recently decided celebrating Christmas on Thanksgiving because everyone would be there. I got my mother, 55, a gift card for those eyelash extensions that women have been getting lately. It was quite expensive and should apparently last her about a year including refill appointments. My mom has very thin hair on her head, eyebrows and eyelashes and it was something she's always been insecure of. My dad, 60 male, thought it would be a good idea as a gift as well. Well, when she opened it, she was very happy and thankful. My wife, 28, however seemed annoyed with the gift but I thought it was just because it was expensive. Later that night, she confessed that she had seen the gift card and assumed it was for her. She was also upset because apparently she also wanted to have fake eyelashes and was upset that I had given the gift to an old woman and not her. I told her she can still go get her eyelashes done but she thinks it'll look like she's trying to copy my mom. I told her that it wasn't that big of a deal and she was just being dramatic. She told me she thought that I knew her better and would know what she wanted. I got her an air fryer because she specifically asked for one but apparently that wasn't enough. She told me that it was embarrassing that I got my mom a more expensive gift than I got her. Now she's wanting me and my dad to convince my mom to not get her eyelashes done because she's too old to be doing stuff like that. So am I the asshole here? Now here's what the people had to say. You're not the asshole. Your wife is being quite cruel. Do not back down on this with your wife and do not let your wife bully your poor mother into not getting eyelash extensions. That's absolutely ridiculous. You got your wife a great gift, she literally asked for it and it's not like you splurged on your mom and got your wife nothing. But it sounds like your wife has an issue with your mom getting the eyelash extensions, period. Not the cost of your gift which is super effing petty and lame for her. I missed the memo that women at the age of 55 aren't allowed to do things to make them feel beautiful and confident. Your wife needs to grow up and realize her jealousy and resentment isn't a cute look. Signed, somebody who has several friends in their 20s and 30s who along with their mothers in their 60s and 50s all love getting eyelash extensions. My absolute favorite and go-to lash tag was referred to me and my best friends from a mutual friend's mom who is in her 50s. Someone else said, yes, to everything you said, absolutely cruel of the wife to try to take the gift away from her mother-in-law and also cruel to ask that of her son and husband. She's past her expiration date and therefore worthless. Not only does she deserve to have her gift taken away for having the audacity to do something that makes her feel good, the gift should now go to me because you should have anticipated my childish jealousy. Also, whose first instinct is always to assume someone's copying their mother-in-law? About a very common trend, when are they around people who would even make that comparison? You're not the asshole. And here's what someone else said and I 100% agree with this comment. Your wife is the asshole for thinking your mother doesn't deserve a nice gift and it's also silly to think that getting eyelashes is copying someone. There was no need to say rude things about your mom and she needs to cut it out with trying to convince your mother that she's too old to look her best. However, I suspect your wife was pissed because of the price differences in gifts and also the fact that she saw the gift ahead of time and assumed it was for her. I actually have eyelash extensions and that is how I know you spend about 3k on a full set plus a year of fills and that is the part that likely has your wife upset. You got your wife an air fryer that was a couple of hundred bucks but spent 3k on your mom. It's not like you and your dad went halfsies on this gift and that you and your wife went in together on it as a present from the two of you as a couple. Nope. This was from you to your mom and the gift from you to your wife was a kitchen gadget. Your wife is still the asshole here and shouldn't be lashing out on your mother over this but you need to understand that she probably feels somewhat cheated. Now guys tell me your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments. After watching it would mean a lot if you could subscribe for more future videos and you could hit the like button if you're enjoying the video. If you don't like something about it you can always tell me in the comments. Am I the asshole for using a diamond from my girlfriend's family heirloom for her engagement ring? My girlfriend 22 and I 24 male have been together for about 3 years and I decided around 5 months ago that I wanted to propose. We share a dog and a home so it seemed like the next logical step. She's hugely into jewelry so I wanted to get her something really sentimental. At the end of September, her grandma suddenly passed away and as my girlfriend was the only granddaughter, she was passed down her wedding ring. 
Her and her grandma were extremely close, so I decided to ask her mom, her grandma was her dad's mom, if she thought it'd be a good idea for me to use one of her diamonds in the ring for my girlfriend's engagement ring. She told me that as much as she loved the idea, she didn't know if girlfriend would like it and she told me to think about it. I couldn't find anything else I liked as much. My girlfriend didn't wear the ring as she was worried about losing it, so she kept it in a box in a drawer, making it easy for me to take it without her realizing. It ended up being a beautiful ring and I thought she'd absolutely love the sentiment of it. Well, I proposed. She said yes immediately and was absolutely enlightened until she saw the ring. She told me I practically vandalized and ruined the only meaningful thing of her grandmother's that she had and that I should have asked. So I went to her mom for support, but she just kept saying that she warned me that my girlfriend might not like the idea. She said yes to my proposal, but refuses to wear the ring, which I think is just disrespectful considering how much money and thought went into it. So am I the asshole here? Now, here's what the comments had to say. How dense can you be? You destroyed a family heirloom and you seriously thought that she'd love the idea. You destroyed her one family heirloom because you were too lazy or broke to go buy a diamond yourself. That ring was a final gift from her grandmother. She doesn't have to wear it daily for it to be sentimental. And her grandmother passed away just a few months ago. F, even her mom said no as she wouldn't like it. You were disrespectful and stole her property and then just had it destroyed. But I did it for you, babe, is no excuse. You effed up. Have her grandmother's ring it appeared ASAP, then offer to go ring shopping with her for an engagement ring or buy a different diamonds or stone for her ring. I agree on this. Here's what someone else said. I'm effing shocked. Girlfriend still wants to marry him after he tried to go to her mommy for backup. No less, the bar for men is so low. Here's what someone else said, and I 100% agree with this comment. This is like something I want to say but can't find the words for, so here you go, guys. I understand the sentiment behind what he did. To some people, heirlooms are sacred, a reminder of the people who had them or wore them. They need to be preserved, and if needed, needed to be restored, it should be to the original state. To others, heirlooms are still sacred even if it doesn't look exactly the same. For example, some mothers are happy for their children to take and alter their wedding dresses. It's still mom's dress, just modernized for today's fashion. And some people would rather gemstones were repurposed and worn rather than living in a jewelry box their whole lives. You can tell your children where the stones came from and the family history behind them. But which kind of person are you varies greatly between people. Opie was warned by her mother that she didn't think that the daughter would like it, but Opie just ignored her warning. And there are so many easy ways he could have approached this topic without giving away that he was about to propose. Number one, casually bring up the ring and say, it's a shame she doesn't wear it anymore. Ask questions, suggest maybe she could get something new made from it, updated for a new generation. One way or the other, boom, there's an answer for you. Number two, he could have had a new ring made with a cubic zircona as a placeholder. If Opie is behind repurposing of the stones, all is well and good. If she's not, then he buys a real diamond to replace the cubic zircona. Instead, he chose super dumb option number three. It's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. I honestly think he did this because he didn't want to buy a real diamond when there was one just sitting around gathering dust and doing nothing but reminding the fiancé of happy memories with her grandmother. But, but hey, who needs happy memories? OP sure doesn't seem too keen on making them. Here's what someone else said. Alternately, he could have proposed with the grandmother's ring and said, I know you don't wear this as an everyday ring, but I know how much this means to you. And we can go pick out a ring that you wear every day together. It's not that hard. That would have been an amazing idea. Now guys, tell me your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments. That is all I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video, it would mean a lot if you could like the video. It tells YouTube it's a good video. And if you didn't enjoy it or have some issue with it, I would love to hear it in the comments so we can resolve it in the future. Bye bye